This is all that remains of Nabudis. Two years ago, it was destroyed utterly by a mysterious force. The work of the Midlight Shard. This? In just two years? How? As the Dawn Shard brought down the Leviathan and her fleet, a fell mist spilled forth. It is like the same thing happened here. The Nethersite's mist has corrupted the life of this place. It is a necrohall overrun with beasts. 
We tread here on a fool's errand. We'd best turn back. Is it revenge that you desire? Yes or no, not this way lies the capital. The road to Arcades leads east of Silicawood, beyond the Fone Coast and Sita Uplands.
It would seem we made the right choice. If we'd taken the easy way and come by airship, one of those patrols would no doubt have been quick to roll out the red carpet. We're on the Empire's doorstep now, so we shouldn't have to worry quite so much. But that's no excuse to get sloppy. It is still a long road to the capital. Why the capital? The Nethysite. I must destroy it. Are you sure? You don't want it for yourself? <gasps> Use its power to restore Dalmasca? Something like that? The best intentions invite the worst kind of trouble. Lusting for ever greater power. Blinded by the Nethysite. Is that how you see me? That does sound like someone I know. He was obsessed with Nethysite. It was all he cared about. Come over here. He'd babble nonsense, hey! blind to aught but the Watch stone's it. power. Like I said, He'd talk about some Enna, or was it Vena? No matter. Thank you. Everything he did, he did to get closer to the Nethysite, to understand it. He made airships, weapons, he even made me a judge. You were a judge? Part of a past I'd rather forget. It didn't last long. I ran, I left the judges, and him. Sidolphus Demon Bonanza. Draclaw Laboratory's very own Dr. Sid. That's when he lost his heart to Nethysite. Lost himself. And I suppose that's when I lost my father. <sighs> Don't follow in his footsteps. I ran away. I couldn't stand seeing him like that, a slave to the stone. So I ran, free at last. Funny I went for the Dusk Shard. How could I have known that it was Nethysite? And then, of course, I met you. All that running, and I got nowhere. It's time to end this. Cut my ties to the past. It's hard to leave the past behind, I know. Marriage of convenience. Symbol of the alliance between Nebradia and Elmasca. This is how they see our marriage. They do, do they? These roles we play. I must admit, I find it wearying. I will play mine. I would have no other.
The choice is yours to make. But don't give your heart to a stone. You're too strong for that, Princess. I... I pray you're right, Balthier. You sure this rabbit hole's really the way into Arcades? Better a hare unseen than a rat in a trap. Then again, if you'd prefer to go knocking on the front gates of the city, be my guest. But what about once we're inside? Won't the city watch find us? We'll do what we can to blend into the crowd. Our names may be notorious, but our faces are not far known. True, true. You're our princess and we didn't even recognize you. 
I noticed.
Smells less like a capital, more like a sewer. Even empires have need of sewers. The runoff from Arcades proper pools here, those who lack papers to live in the city itself. The mighty who have fallen, and the fallen who would be mighty. Their eyes never leave Arcades. I guess it must be a lot nicer than this place. Oh, to be sure. Arcades reeks of a different filth. Let's be off. We can follow our noses to Draclaw. You're gaping like a fish out of water. I'm just checking out the city. Even if it is the Empire. You've changed, Vaughn. You were always marching to your own beat. Almost like you were impatient, even. In a good way. Maybe it's because I've seen more now. <laughs> Never imagined I'd ever come this far away from home. Hey, Lars is here in the city, isn't he? He's a tough one. I wonder how he's doing. You always wear a soft touch, Vaughn. You know what's amazing? I always thought I'd go my whole life without meeting people like the Princess or Lord Larsa. And here we are in the capital. I know. It's a little over my head sometimes. Good, Vaughn. You've come to understand the difficulties of serving royalty. Hey, I'm just along for the ride. That wasn't a complaint, was it, Bosch? <clears throat> right. Let's get moving. Hey, don't change the subject. Right. <laughs> <laughs> The complices of the Senate have been quelled, Your Honor. Our forces sustained but light casualties. You have leave to withdraw. One detachment will remain here to guard Draclaw. My lord. Do you think they're onto us? It would seem not. Though this will make our task more difficult still. This way. strange. There are supposed to be guards here. Maybe you were just lucky, huh? Maybe you're just optimistic. Something may be afoot. We proceed with caution. No time for caution. Step to it. 
Sid's chambers are on the top level. Visitors, one's lacking manners by the look of it. Someone after the Nethysite? The Yuck de Four, was it? Six years, and ever since you got back, this. What madness found you there? Hmm? Up above us! Drop bulkhead five and eight! Be to it! They found us! Use earlier visitors more like. We should lie low for now. No, we'll use their confusion. We need to find Sid now. You bear not the stench of Sid's lackeys. And you are our earlier visitor. Yes, a valuable man, one I'd sooner not lose. Yet he knows too much. <clears throat> You know 
day-affected Nethocyte brought down the Leviathan. How can you persist in this folly? <laughs> and you've come here to stop me. I'd fain see you try. Consider your bones, old man. You're outmatched. Pirate scum of the skies. What brings you here? Treasure. What else would a pirate want? We'll take the Dusk Shard. <laughs> You've come all this way for that trinket. I thought you were above this. Hmm? What's that? Princess of Damasco, come to visit. Mm. She's not entirely without merit. A test of sorts for her princess? Mm. You're a babbling fool. A trial for a Shelia Banargan Dalmasca! You lust for the stone's power, do you not? <laughs> Lend him not your ears, milady. He means to use you. <laughs> Manufactured nephocyte, like Bergen. How could you do this? How could you fall this far? hiding behind your toys. Pity if anything were to happen to them. Your time here is over. The curtain falls.
Ah! Ah! You shouldn't have. This creature. So this is your Vena. A Shelia Benagin Dalmaska. Just how far will you go for power? Does your lust for Nephysite consume you? <laughs> am I right? I am, aren't I? A worthy daughter of the Dynast King. You would do well to go to Giruvagan. Who knows? You may receive a new stone for your trouble. Your words mean nothing to me! The reins of history back in the hands of man. I do make for Giruvagan. Give chase if you dare it. I hate it when he does that. Mayhaps you think me remiss, the Lady Ash of Dalmasca? The Sky Pirate Rethos, at your employ. The Imperial Senate, powerless to resist House Solidor's brutal purge, was dissolved. Vain Solidor reigned supreme over the Empire. Though this upheaval shook the Imperial Bastion to its foundation, these developments were, to say the least, welcomed by her military. The authoritarian rule of the judges, in tandem with the impending threat of Rosarian invasion, served to foster camaraderie among its ranks. For our part, the resistance mustered strength in the border skies, making ready for the task ahead. A war to decide the doom of Ivalice would soon be upon us. Tong and Ugonex are away. All ships reporting in. They're breaking to begin ship-to-ship -ship maneuvers against us. All hands, full ahead flank. We shall make ready to repel their attacks. Counter air. Track them as though they were the enemy. Counter air, to your stations. A dispatch from Naldoa Command, Excellency. The Sky Pirate has left Arcadian airspace. He makes for Balfenheim with the Lady Ash and her party. It is good to know the lady still lives, but what of our bid for the stone? With the stone or without, our resistance should prove an even match for the Imperial Army. These weeks of training have honed our edge. I pray it is sharp enough. They choose to supply the resistance, yet raise not a sword in aid. A 
What city could do this? A city of men without countries, pirates of the sea and of the sky. Few are they who would fain lay down their lives for a friend, let alone a king. The Marquis, he is set on war? The time approaches when he must make his position vis-a-vis -vis the Empire clear. When he helped you off the Leviathan, he spited the judges full sore. He cannot sit in idleness and expect to avoid a reckoning. The Marquis shares my distaste for war. Yet, if it comes to it, he will show no quarter. For the time being, we will continue to train the Resistance Army. Enough power on our side, and even Vane may see the appeal of the Treaty Table. Yet Vane holds the Nethersite. What makes you think he would treat when he holds such power? Power enough to sink the Leviathan. All the more reason for me to support your infiltration of the capital. You said it yourself. The Nethersite is a powerful weapon. I would have you acquire it for me. I have not said I would give you the Midlight Shard. If there is no stone, I would have to look elsewhere for aid. Then you would ally with Rosaria. As I must. Failure is not an option. It's just what Vane wants. He lures the Rosarians and the Resistance to the field, then crushes both with the Nethersite. I think not. Sid has a stone. We grab it and smash it to pieces with the Sword of Kings. Vane will be left holding nary a thing. Time is short. We follow Sid. He's heading towards Giru Vagan. Giru Vagan. It is told of in a song of my people. On the farthest shores of the river of time, shrouded deep in the roiling mist, the Holy Land sleeps, Guru Vagan. Who knows the paths, the way to its doors? Then you seek the Yok de Four. Deep within the jungle of Golmore, there is a corner of the Feywood where a mist storm surges and seethes. And that's it. Let's go. Right. <gasps> Not coming, Rithers? Forget your precious nether sight already? Sid's words rang hollow to me. I will follow another course. Ah, another lead then, is it? You're well informed. I could well say the same to you, pirate. Hurry it up, or we'll leave without you. Ah, Vaughn. I've had some of my men check on this Feywood. Best ask what they found. Okay. Thanks for the help, Brothers. <laughs> Fly first, ask questions later. Your apprentice is more pirate than you. I don't have an apprentice. Princess Ash, I would hear your heart. If Dr. Sid has spoke the truth, you may well be rewarded with more Nethersite in Giruvagan. Tell me. Do you still desire the stone? I desire its power. I want, yet I also fear. I must protect Elmasca. I can't afford to fear anything. Do not forget Nabodis. That is my only counsel for you. <laughs>